This finding came up because we made a bedside observation. As the number of patients who are on respiratory support is growing, I think there's a need uh, around the country and around the world for pulmonologists who specialize in this. I think we are really coming much closer to understanding the origins of certain types of lung disease really across the spectrum. The University of Michigan is leading the field in developing innovative, multidisciplinary partnerships to develop cures and take better care of patients with lung disease. They are putting the power of the entire faculty behind each patient, and through their partnerships, they are leading research and major innovations. Faculty, physicians, and researchers in the Pulmonary and Critical Care Division at the University of Michigan are determined to be leaders in the national dialogue on the importance of lung health. Chronic lung disease is actually the third leading cause of death in the United States, but I think there's a huge opportunity right now to get the message out regarding the importance of lung health, the importance of symptoms, and the importance of getting in uh, for appropriate care. At the University of Michigan, Talk is backed by action. We take ideas from the bedside, we go to the bench and we innovate and we take those back to the bedside. The University of Michigan Pulmonary and Critical Care Division is a leader in the multidisciplinary approach to diagnosing and treating lung disease. They are also forging innovative partnerships to develop new treatments, particularly in oxygen delivery and assisted ventilation. The Pulmonary and Critical Care Division at the University of Michigan, I believe, really sets itself apart in our ability to provide advanced care. And the way that we do that and the way that we help to resolve diagnostic uncertainty is through multidisciplinary case conferences. We bring together pulmonologists, radiologists, pathologists, surgeons, etc. for interstitial lung disease. We do this for patients with uh, advanced obstructive lung diseases now, including uh, emphysema. Many patients with advanced lung disease have complex needs, particularly those requiring oxygen and assisted ventilation at home. We take care of patients who are on various types of respiratory support. The Assisted Ventilator Clinic brings together an experienced multidisciplinary team to provide world-class care for patients with advanced lung disease. We thought that if we can address all these needs in one visit with a team approach, not just an in individual clinician approach, that really we would be able to take better care of these patients and also give them better quality of life and allow them to be able to do things at home that they would never have been able to do decades ago. This unique approach allows many patients to live at home where they otherwise would not be able to. It probably is one of the few that has this kind of comprehensive multidisciplinary care for patients on home ventilators. I do think that we are probably the largest. We have a patient population of over 1,200 patients at this point. I think when we first started the program, we anticipated that maybe it would be about two or 300 patients. Addressing respiratory needs at every stage of the patient journey. We're really trying to pioneer a new field of pulmonary medicine. Researchers at the University of Michigan are partnering with startup companies such as Ares Medical to develop and test a unique oxygen delivery and ventilation system for home use. It's essentially the first portable multifunction ventilator. So it really combines non-invasive ventilation, oxygen concentration, and drug delivery all into one. Innovation and commitment to patient care is moving the field forward. We're allowing them to be active, to go on a clean and visit their grandkids. Groundbreaking research in oxygen assessment is also breaking down long-standing health care inequalities. Our findings were definitive. In patients who describe themselves as black, the pulse oximeter was three times as likely to miss significant low oxygen levels compared to patients who are white. The pulse oximeter is used extensively to determine how much oxygen a patient needs. I think since our study has been published, people have paid attention. We have to petition for change from the ground up. We, have, we need redesigned devices that work the best in all, in all patients. So it's really a, impacted how I make decisions. Researchers are working to develop better ways to measure pulse oximetry across skin colors and improve care for all.
One is making sure that all communities are involved in research from the very beginning. Michigan Medicine has also pioneered diagnostic imaging technologies now being used to help patients across the globe. So the technology is called parametric response mapping and it analyzes CT scan data, lung CT scan data, to help us identify areas of abnormality. This discovery is a first step towards precision medicine for millions suffering from COPD. And now this is a technology that we use in everyday care. It's the intersection of research and innovation, literally helping the world to breathe. Because of the expertise that we have here, I really view the University of Michigan as an incubator for ideas, the, the parametric response mapping, working with people like Nick to develop oxygen innovation. We've got the right mix of clinicians and in scientists here, and to really be able to, to see the problems, develop the solutions, and then deliver them back to patients to improve patient lives.